This might get weird. Are we walking? Are we rolling? We are both of those things. Woo! Right? Hey, ah, Grace Helbig. Hi, Mamie Hart. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this is... This is a special one because normally record Tuesday mornings around 9.30 with our coffee. Yeah. And this is Sunday, literally 5 o'clock somewhere that somewhere is Los Angeles. We are having our little cocktail of the evening. Yeah, you would think this would be how we would always record is with a cocktail. Isn't it um, shocking how like responsible we are? I mean, it's shocking in a great way yeah. that like we're... Um, going against the odds i think yeah that we are proving people wrong well, it might just we, be that we're actually uh, feeling our adulthood i mean we are in our i'm in my full dead-on mid-30s yeah wait, what the, i mean i'm 33 wait am i th- yes no you're I, 34 aren't you no i will be 34 fuck me if I, you had gotten your age no. wrong it would have made my life no if i'm gonna convince you you are a year older no i'm i'm in the year of jesus christ right now Literally. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You're I a know. superstar. I can't believe if I get through this year, then wow, I will break bread. Done. Fuck you, Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to walk on water. You, you just I, dunked on Jesus. <laughs> I really did. It's really funny because walking on water, I talked to my dad today after talking to my stepmom because it's Mother's it's Day. It's Mother's Day. We're currently recording this on Mother's Day. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I talked about going down to Palm Springs this week. And my dad was like, do not jump off the roof of your house. Well. And I had to remind him, you did it too, dad. And that's then he went. That's true. I did, but please don't do that anymore. And I was like, I know. I'm no older more roofs. now. I'm no more now. roofs. How are you? Okay, it's currently still the weekend. How's yes. your weekend been? I feel like we've both had very interesting <laughs> weekends that we have not. Full disclosure, guys, we've sat at my kitchen counter talking for like an hour before we started recording. We caught up about things that we could never say on this podcast. Yeah, we, t- we talked about like YouTube drama and shit that doesn't matter and doesn't pertain to yes. anything we'd want to say on this podcast. Because yeah. on this podcast, we just talk about what's going on in our lives we talk about the fun ridiculous most insane things uh things are things are good this weekend's been good i'm still in a little bit of a haze processing um the broad strokes yes uh all right sorry (laughs) apparently you heard the word broad and strokes and you were (laughs) i'm a broad who strokes i'm in um i got to see vanilla ice perform yes okay okay so uh, take me through this yes elliot your boyfriend had it mm -hmm. was his turn to plan a date night he wanted to be a sweetheart and plan a date i love that so i think there's nothing more attractive than a guy who actually makes decisions oh my god right i am so wildly indecisive and i can tell it frustrates him that i can't choose anything and that i don't pay attention to like details when i choose okay things. true but you you do plan stuff me I and you plan are planners stuff. we plan surprises we plan evenings sure. when you're dating someone who literally just goes like whatever you want that makes me fucking crazy that is a, i want you to have a brain that's like that's just rude and mean yeah for someone else to be like whatever you want and i go mm, motherfucker uh, no but for someone that is very good at organizing mm-hmm. actually genuinely from what i can tell enjoys it yes um to have the kind of like baton given to him to say okay yeah you plan the whole night the only thing i want to do is not plan anything i want to be along for the ride i will be the best passenger on this ride um and so he i think you can be my uber baby oh enrique i'm just kind of like like i'll sit in the back seat I did not connect. Yeah, yeah I barely did. <laughs> but um, so he was like, I planned a night for us. So just fun. be ready by 630. Bring a coat. I'm sorry. Is what I was told. Is this pretty woman? Uh, I love it. This is my kind of escape room. Right? I don't want to go into something where I have to solve riddles or puzzles. I you're want- missing out. And I'm going to get you an escape room. And you're yeah, going to fucking we'll love it. But no, we'll stay on task. Um, so, yeah, he said, uh wear a coat mm-hmm. we'll have a drink at your place and then we'll have a couple roadies that we'll pack in the uber that'll like tide us over and i was like how far how are we far going is this fucking thing uh, yeah what's going on he's like it might be because traffic it might right. be um so we ended up the date was at in santa clarita really close to where we shot camp dakota right so 
on a on a good day that's like a 45 minute drive yeah. no traffic um and so we and i didn't even know fully what we were going to um but he is bad at keeping secrets so he told me everything immediately of he was course like, he's like we're going to a, uh, an event called tacos and tequila love it uh and the headliner is vanilla ice and now I did like, he tell you this before you got in the uber yes okay all right because he he gets he so excited to, okay. that he can't zip it he can't keep a secret which i identify with when i get really excited about something that is so dumb that i'm like presenting to someone else like totally. i just want them to know no i feel like you them. and i have an air of one of my favorite kristen wig characters do you, do you remember that one where she like they tiny tell, hands no <laughs> no where like she knows there's a surprise yes, party and she's yes. like yeah! like she's just and she, she jumps through windows uh, yeah, <laughs> Yeah. She can't That's literally she can't be present so or she'll tell it. I can't fault him for wanting to like dispose of right. his secrets. But um yeah, so we we went to this tacos and tequila night. How long San- did it take you to get there? Like an hour. But the right. okay, so here's the issue. Um the problem hmm. was not the issue. This was just like I was like, Oh man, this is not correct. So we had just been hanging out all day uh, or for most of the day and he was working and then I never smoke and then go out in public. Like I can't. You don't know. I've can't. I'm never high with you. You and I can't do it. I, I mean, you do it more often than I do. No, but no, no. I, I only smoke weed in public when I'm already drunk. Mm-hmm. I would never be like, oh, it's chill. I've had one glass of wine. Let me hit that in public. No, no. I smoke weed when I know so. <laughs> I won't really be paying attention to how high I am. Yeah. So uh we smoke a little bit before we go and before i'm our, getting in an hour long uber yeah <laughs> oh my and then God. I, I i i like i like let me call the uber you booked all these tickets like this is a, i want this to be a mutual shared thing uh and then call the uber and it's literally a woman that looks exactly like my mom that picks <gasps> no you got teresa 2.0 and she's literally okay and then i'm already in the car going okay as long as there's an uber driver that like does not care about conversation like i need you to be on my team and realize that i'm gonna be a seemingly quiet create like we're gonna look like we're, we're gonna in a create fight. a vibe we're gonna so that she doesn't talk to us we're gonna look like we're in a fight and i was texting him as soon as we got in the car being like i'm too high to talk right now and then he was like watch <gasps> this and then started talking with her this oh, beautiful wonderful woman who started talking about uh how her her mom had dementia how her mom was from england literally (gasps) every single thing that my mother goes through like i'm sitting like knuckles gripped white knuckling in the back seat being like i have so many things to relate to you about my own family and what you have been experiencing and i am too high to communicate these with noises also (laughs) am i high right now because i just realized that you have a mother teresa Uh, yeah oh yeah i've yeah. never put that oh yeah together. my mother Teresa. yeah yeah, yeah. holy She's, shit she really is a saint she really is uh but no i literally was like and i was texting him because that's the only form of communication yeah I could, you're like, real good at texting <laughs> while being within earshot of and someone i was just literally texting him being like i have too much to relate to this woman's story and i'm overwhelmed by the fact that i am too high to be able to express this to this woman and also like we haven't even gotten to tacos and tequila yet. no like you have a whole evening <laughs> oh it was so much did she talk the whole time she talked for most of it and then there was a lull of silence in which we kind of like all non-verbally communicated like we're going to be silent now did you do the hey feel free to turn on some music i couldn't even like, say you- that i was <laughs> oh, you were fucking blazed i was out of my brain <laughs> okay but also like Grace was blaze pizza but this is like the people that don't drink that take one shot and then they're like i'm blackout drunk that's me smoking weed no, if it's i like- went and got a joint right now and we took one hit we yeah. would not be able to continue this exactly podcast. no that's how it We'd was like, we have to record in four days no exactly <laughs> I have to go to a retreat and get detoxed. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it was one of those things that I was like already paranoid about all of it. And then it was just like piled on. But it was ultimately very fine. I'm sure I in my brain was way more um, like way more than I actually was you in were real life. Probably completely normal. And you looked like a shy little lady. Yeah. Or it looked like Elliot and I just got in a fight before we got in the car. And he was and like, he's I'm like, going to talk to the driver. You. I'm going to talk to <laughs> Teresa. I'm going to hit on our Uber driver. But then we got to tacos and tequila. And it was in a, fe- a giant field. My favorite kind of party. Oh, it was fantastic. Tacos, tequila, grass, places to shit. Oh, um, <laughs> but like, except for the last part. But sure. the, <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, there was a bunch of tents that advertised tequila, but you could only get these pre-mixed drinks. And no. See, that's not um, fine. Because the thing is, is that, and you know how I drink mezcal. I do it on the rocks that's what with I a wanted. little lemon juice. I, I don't want this fucking sugar. It that's was, the hangover. There were like four different versions of a margarita that you could order. And I came up and I asked, I was like, can I just get tequila on the rocks? And the guy was like, it's all pre-measured. And he had been in the weeds. And I was like, ah, okay, all right. What and, is this, Utah? Uh, it might have been it took a long <laughs> took time a to long- get there <laughs> but it was and then the best part is so i guess the event started at like four we got there Damn. at like nine or something oh, so we got no. there right as vanilla ice was coming but on is stage that perfect timing or were there any openers you wanted to see I didn't even know if there was an opener. I feel like they okay. play kids bop on like a fucking DJ booth for totally. four hours and then they had vanilla ice come on. It was insane. I wish you were there. It was so vanilla. I've seen vanilla. I, we've seen vanilla. Uh, yeah, we saw vanilla at the, the first streamy streamies awards. that we ever went to. Mm-hmm. And I channeled you. OK, so here's a couple things that quickly happened. Set the scene, girl. So get there. Field party. It's a curious amalgamation of crowd. Yeah, shit gets different an hour outside of L.A. It's families with children running around with ice cream and like face paint. And then it's just all like stiff brimmed baseball hats and dudes with hands in pockets. Shit gets real Republican. And then like big. (laughs) But I don't even know. They don't participate in politics. Like it's just Mm. a very like they love sports. Those are their politics. Baseball. Um, And then there's just like some dreadlocks. And like it's the most confusing group of people but very white i'm sure oh my god <laughs> yes it was You're like it's very eclectic in the sense that they were all all caucasian uh it was yeah it was a variety of stiff brimmed hats that's all uh and then we yeah vanilla ice came on and he was met to a lukewarm reception no really <laughs> he's the goddamn headliner it's vanilla ice show some respect um i'll show you videos up on the patreon people were not super into it but so our <gasps> first dreamy awards that we ever went to yes um vanilla ice was the headliner there grace was uh, grace was nominated for everything was winning everything i literally came as her date I went with her and her boyfriend at the time, and I sat there. And my man, and our and manager, our manager, who's still our manager. And when we went to go get seated, <laughs> this is my favorite part: is we're like, you know, third row because Grace's gonna like win a bunch, and so they seat her close. <laughs> we, oh God, we, yes, we go through, <laughs> and it was, <laughs> and it was, <laughs> and I had to go. Pardon me, soldier boy, because he was in my seat. <laughs> my just goes, I'm. Just, I'm sitting next to Soldier Boy. I was and like, then he was in my. I'd be like, was, oh, pardon me, Soldier Boy. Oh, and then there was someone behind us. Eliza that was Dushku. Like, Eliza Dushku. That um, after I won an award, introduced herself to me. Yes. And I said, "What's your name?" Because I was trying to play it so fucking cool. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your name, Eliza Dushku? <laughs> the most famous person in this fucking internet room. I'm sorry. No, it was Soldier Boy. Oh. I was like, pardon me, Soldier Boy. And then he performed, but the big one was. <laughs> it just really sounded like a 1940s like. <laughs> Is that the boogie woogie boogle? Like the book? What is that? It's like that boogie woogie boogle. Boy, company B. B. It's like a part of me, a soldier boy, and that is my seat. <laughs> Um, yeah, she was prepared to Bottom Superman. Is soldier boy. Is yeah. that my seat? Just like, and then now. I would like to Superman the hole. <laughs> but it was, anyway, we were there. Uh, and then, if you guys haven't seen the uh, gifts, gifs on the internet. Long story uh, short, Grace was not there. She was like backstage or doing an interview. Uh, yeah. Vanilla Ice comes out to Go Ninja, Go Ninja Go from oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. And I am the... <laughs> and I am the... I'm up on my feet, you like stood up doing like the Arsenio your... Hall dog pound, like go ninja, go ninja, you go. go. Stood up like your seat <laughs> caught on fire, and no one else around like you. Nin- like Soldier Boy had put a firecracker under <laughs> my hiney, <laughs> <laughs> like an actual soldier missile, and I'm going nuts. She's and going nuts. No one else around her. No is. one. Our like manager stands up because Mamrie's standing up with his phone filming Soldier Boy like he's gonna use that for his record. Literally, you can look it up. He looks to oh. his left, looks to his right, see no one else is standing, and then sits down. <laughs> he bails on me. Now, granted, everyone else in the audience joined in about three seconds later. It took them a while. They were all twelve. But just like our awkward silence with the flight attendant last week, yeah. those 
three seconds can feel like a lifetime. Oh, it was so long. I was distinctly standing by myself. But so, okay. <laughs> I have that memory. And I was so proud of you when I saw that video footage after. I was like, Mamrie's going for it. She is <laughs> appreciating what she appreciates. I'm a plus one. I'm going to fucking uh, nail it. But so we're in line. First of all, there's this woman in front of for us. For a margarita or to like for get a margarita. into? Okay. It took us a second to get in for a margarita. Uh, everyone's in line for margaritas. No one's no one's in line for tacos. And, um, and They're like we live in L.A. We can get tacos. We need yeah. to get liquored up for vanilla ice. And then there's a woman in front of us that's by herself. And then these two little girls and this little boy with, like with a football just come running up like they've been like playing in the field all day. And they start talking to her. And I'm like, oh, that's her kids. This is her yeah. like the that's their mom and then she just the only thing i hear is her looking the little boy dead in the eyes and goes i'm not your mommy where's your mom i'm not handling this and the kid, holy shit and the kid just goes i don't know and then runs away like throwing the football to himself and i was like oh my god okay this this is like 10 seconds into being in line for this when then, you're high I, the high has now like subsided a little bit that I can be public and like have okay. a good time. Then after that, Vanilla Ice comes out. Yes. Then he does a lot of crowd work. He sounds like he's screamo. And because he had a screamo band. Well, he's fully in that now. And well, all his work. <laughs> give work. us the receipts. All his work like post, I don't know, 95 mm -hmm. or something. He had like a. That's like what a he was. Screamy band. That's all he was that whole night. And then even with the old hits, even the old hits, because his He's crowd work mode. is nuts. So he he starts doing some song that no one really knows and no one's paying attention. Mm. Then he does Go Ninja Go. <gasps> I get the best. I get triggered and I start doing the memory heart dog yeah. pound impersonation. Yeah, I'm going Go Ninja Go Ninja Go to which Elliot told me later that the woman that yelled at that little boy muttered to herself, you go, girl. Well, I'm <laughs> You go, ninja girl. Oh, I'm so proud of you. No one else was doing it. But then yes. this is Vanilla Ice's crowd work after Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go, because we know Ice Ice Baby is going to be his closer. Of course it is. So his crowd work, he starts talking about like, ah, I'm from the 90s. Like, that's literally how he's talking. He's talking literally yeah. like his vocal cords are fucking they fried. They and he goes, he needs to ice those cords. He needs to ice Ice Baby <laughs> those cords. Uh, and then he says, and I quote, oh, my God. I remember when Girls Gone Wild came out in the 90s. Make some noise if you got movies at Blockbuster in the 90s. Make some noise if you had a cassette deck in the 90s. Who made babies since Ice Ice Baby? And that what? was how he introduced Ice what? Ice Baby. I was like... When Girls Gone Wild? That's how he started it. He goes, oh, we're talking about 90s up in here. Who remembers when Girls Gone Wild came also, out in like, the 90s? Also, like, that's one of the four touchstones of the 90s and ice. Me and meanwhile, there are children running around with, like, soft serve ice cream and face paint on. And I was like, oh my also, God. just so you know, Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go, he brought out four people in Ninja well, Turtle was, costumes. Hold on, I was going to come back to that. I, I thought you were, like, breezing over it. And I was like, we'll no, come back to No, he fully this. had Ninja Turtles come out in um full ninja costumes full ninja turtle, I mean, costumes, turtle costumes and they stayed on stage with him for the rest of the time because the thing that happened is i thought that ice ice baby would be his finale he'd be done no no he stayed what do, you do american pie by don mclean he just did karaoke for the rest of the night he just mm, played songs mm -hmm. he had like literally like 15 stepmoms on stage wearing like bedazzled yes. like their friday night out looks and they were just on stage dancing on amps yes. that were like 50 plus years old living their best lives god bless and then he would just play like m.i.a uh <laughs> and like just sing to it okay but that's what that's it that's what happened hour. on the fucking backstreet boys cruise i went yeah. on <laughs> really? yeah so they had like performances every night on the poop deck or whatever <laughs> in literally the mediterranean in march it was two degrees and windy we were like it was like that episode of the Nan nanny where she goes on vacation and it's just wind machines we're like this is terrible it's just you know like sideways rain but so they would have performances but they only sang their songs the night they did like an acoustic concert it was just them getting on stage and being like singing kesha and he but yes but he didn't even um he just played the actual song with the vocals oh my and God. then sang with, with it the vocals? yeah it wasn't even a karaoke track it was just no. him adding on every now and then to the choruses of all these songs 
<laughs> it was insane. It so lasted. it's just him just dancing and being like, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. And Literally then letting that. it play. Boom, boom, boom. Like it was... I was so confused. No one's paying attention. Yeah. There's like one person with a girl on their shoulders that thinks that they missed out on Coachella and are trying to like, uh, you know, overcompensate this for This is it. their Coachella? Oh, it was so weird and wonderful and sad all at the same time. It was a delight to my senses. Two things. I would go to... Two things. Two things. <laughs> I mean things. Yes. The original two chains. Two things. <laughs> yeah, that's my rap name. I'm opening for Vanilla Ice at Burritos and... <laughs> yeah, Burritos and Rum. Burritos maybe. and Beer. <laughs> Santa Anita's next week. Um, two things. I would go to Coachella if it was a festival about the sitcom Coach starring Craig T. Nelson. Oh, God. <laughs> He's an American treasure. <laughs> He's an American treasure. <laughs> My other, my second ting is, uh, oh no, I forgot. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. I have, so, I have so many vanilla ice related things. <laughs> Sorry, you caught me while I was swallowing. <laughs> I legit forgot for a second. I had so many things swirling in my head. Um, my cousin, um, who <laughs> was from Florida, who this is the same cousin where when Jeff Foxworthy was in his like heyday of like oh. you might be a redneck if he had a you might be a redneck if you have uh, a, a family member who wrestles alligators for a living yeah. I did he was my <laughs> cousin who wrestled alligators in the Everglades for a living but previous to that he worked on roofs roofs roofs, roofs. I, I was know. like is roofs some TV show like <laughs> yeah, cheers yeah. that I don't know about <laughs> yeah ro- roofs they just <laughs> hang out at people's houses <laughs> But he was working in like Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Mm-hmm. And this is when Vanilla Ice was dating Madonna for like that happened? a second. I think like a, a wink. whisper of time. Like wink. I don't even know if it was public or if it was public for a second. But he was working on Vanilla Ice's roof when Madonna was there and they got into a fight and he just sat on the roof and watched it through the skylight <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> and this is one of those things that like, I've remembered since I was 10 years old and it might be different in reality, but my whole life it's been like, my cousin watched Madonna and Vanilla Ice fight through a skylight. Uh, he watched them break up. I Nothing mean, is more Florida than that. I mean, that's the royal uh, couple of our generation. It truly is. <laughs> Do you know that Vanilla Ice has like a super normal name? Um, yeah. Oh, no. He said it a couple times. It's like Damon or something or it's, like Henry. Oh, why isn't my computer working? Oh, uh, God. Oh, God. Um, it's like. No, his last name is like Van Winkle. Well, that's not Let that me look normal. It up. No, I'm saying it's so like un Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice, real name. Oh, boy. I mean, I'm really captivating. No, I'm very excited. His name is Robert Matthew Van Winkle. <laughs> that sounds like he should be a magician. I don't or know like why. Or like sleep for a million years. Also, he's 51. Also, he might be the white rapper's son of the woman that you sat on the plane with last week. <laughs> No, he's not because I got an email, <laughs> which was basically like I online stalked you post the flight Wait, from her from to her you? to me because we exchanged emails and I was like, I'm so impressed by you. You and Grace are amazing. Like, oh, my God. And she was like, I showed you to my son. He's impressed that you're verified. He, she was like, <laughs> I, she was like, I don't know what that is. Do I need a YouTube channel? What's happening? So I emailed her back today. This, I mean, she sent me like a novel. I emailed her back today because I had forgotten to. I was just like, hey, I'll write you more later. It was such a lovely flight. Uh, me, you, and Grace should go get a drink or coffee. Yes, 100%. So yeah, I'm still in contact. Oh my God, guys. Pay attention to how this journey of us with Isn't Mamrie's future self pans out. Isn't that I'm going to call her FS from now on. Or MFS, Mamrie future self. Mamrie future <laughs> self. It was fan- I mean, I hope I get that much work. Uh, uh, another thing about Vanilla Ice, because this is our Vanilla Ice podcast. Get it. Uh, have you ever watched his home improvement show? No, of course I have. But haven't. you know he has one, right? No, of course I Wait, don't. Wait, you didn't know that? No. He's had the Maybe. Vanilla Ice Project. Hold on. It has been like a straight up he <laughs> flips homes. I There's bet been he does. multiple seasons. I bet. He seems like he's in a lot of debt that he's trying to figure out. I mean, I he don't know. He does if- tacos and tequilas in Santa Clarita where he just sings his two songs. And, and then, I bet he got paid a hundred grand. I bet so. But he also clearly had a like quota of time he had to be on stage. Yeah. Because they started just spraying water bottles at each other. And that was don't about it. Don't you love that? He had eight seasons. What? It Season eight was 2018. He's probably filming. On what two- network? Uh, DIY. What's it the, called? The Vanilla Ice Project. <gasps> he okay. fixes houses and literally eight seasons of a TV show. This guy. 
he fixes houses himself uh, or he just hosts it it says uh, vanilla ice project on the diy network is hosted by handyman and rapper rob van winkle aka vanilla ice how can we not get hey usa season three but he's got eight seasons eight of the vanilla ice project. seasons <laughs> Of the VIP. Oh, what a great. Oh, that's a great acronym. That is a great acronym. All right, all right. We got to work on that. We got to work on that. Okay, that's okay. That's my major event that happened this weekend. That's a pretty big one. Yeah, I mean, I went to Dave and Buster's Buster's last night, but that's nothing uh, that pales in comparison. Was it a birthday party or was it a random uh, DMB moment? It was a birthday party, but also going to Dave and Buster's on a Saturday night in the middle of Hollywood reminded me a lot of things about Hollywood that I don't want to be around. What's your game at Dave and Buster's? Oh, the dumb ones. Oh, I got big into the dumbest one of all. Which Just one? the coins that when you drop the coin into the machine, it drops oh, the and then it pushes slide? the other coins forward. The weird like, is Ooh, this? this I've, is my I've never understood the logic of this. This is my theory that that's the <laughs> game that gives you the most credits, but no one plays it because it's boring, boring as, as fuck. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so boring because you have to time it it's and then it bath. sweeps you the. It's boring as fuck. Did you? Okay, I've only been to Dave and Buster's, I think, like twice. Mm -hmm. And both times I just drank and played games and who gave a shit. That's usually, yeah, that's about it. But I've never done, like, ticket cash in there. Do they have adult prizes? Yeah, we got um, our friend. Did you get a vibrator? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I got got three bullets and a vibrator. (laughs) I got a handle of Tito's. I got a gallon of lube and a vibrator. Floss, dental floss. <laughs> um, no, we got our friend whose birthday we were celebrating. Technically, we were celebrating his birthday, but really just going to have a good time, but also yeah. by default um, supporting him. Um, there is a toilet paper gun that we got him that looks like a Nerf gun, but it like wads up toilet paper and supposedly like spits it out. I that don't know. That seems wasteful as fuck. Um, yeah. And also I was <laughs> wasted as fuck in the game, <laughs> in the arcade center where I was like redeeming all of our tickets for a reward. And I was like, we need to get him a gift. He wouldn't let us buy him a drink. Wow. Here's a toilet paper gun. We can even get him this lava lamp or this toilet paper gun. <sighs> I know. I don't know. Lava limbs are back, baby. They're soothing as fuck. I just uh, always, uh, I am afraid <laughs> that they're going to start a fire. I always get nervous that they're going to start a fire. More so than a regular lamp? Fair. Like if it caught on fire, <laughs> what? Because it broke, then the liquid would cover it. Would take out the fire? Like where would the fire start? Why would a lava lamp just have cords. more? I just assume that that, <laughs> I assume it's a faulty device. I just assume it's a little bit faulty. Um, okay, I gotta. We have to talk about this. What this morning? Yes, I'm ma'am. Sorry. Okay, I'm so pulling for, out of my pocket. So for those of you that don't know, one we have not discussed this at all, at all. But also, I've seen a little bit. Mamrie, in her most Mamrie fashion of all time, this is my Velcro. Just, putting it around my neck. She's putting on an actual what looks like an Olympic medal right now. Um, so Mamrie in the most Mamrie fashion of all time texts me <laughs> and goes, um, I have to record in the afternoon tomorrow because I have to wake up first thing in the morning to do something mm-hmm. that I'm going to talk about on the podcast. And that <laughs> is that's like listening to your parent go like, I have to go in for surgery tomorrow. I'll be yeah, out. I won't tell you how serious it is, but I'm you trust it. I'll tell you what it is. OK, here's the deal. Our friend Katie. <laughs> yes. God love her. She's the best. She's, you know, a wrestling buddy. She used to work on Bar Rescue. She's yes. the shit. She was the only woman who worked on Ice Road Truckers uh, for multiple she, seasons. She's a are, badass. We still currently are trying to figure out a show in which she can show run for us. We stand. <laughs> yeah. We stand. Yeah. Anyway, she she's like one of those people who gets season passes to theme parks. Well, she's from Orlando. She's right? from Orlando, so it's yeah. in her blood. Yeah. She's trash. And I love you, Katie. You're listening to this right now. Trash in the best way. So oh, am I. Oh, no. That, her and Elliot are in the same boat. You know? Yeah. So she says to me on, I believe, Friday. Okay. I forget. She was like, hey, I'm doing a 5K at Universal Studios Sunday morning. Her husband, James, was going to do it. But now he's out of town and on the road. Do you have any interest? And I was like, no. I was like, I was like, no. I was like, I was like, yeah, Captain Bad News. Well, I was like, I was like, well, what time? You know? And and then I look it up. She sends me the link, and it starts at six a.m. It starts at six a.m. Yeah, because they're banking on. Let's say you walk one mile per hour that they can still open the they park s- by the time by that last person finishes exactly. okay 6 a.m i'm like zero percent chance 
And then I think about it. I'm like, I don't have any stories for the podcast this week. <laughs> and then I look at it and it's minion themed. Oh, okay. Have Hold you on. looked at my medal? I'm tr- I've been it's tra- a minion <laughs> with minions running on it. <laughs> okay, just to give you guys backstory, yeah. if you don't know, um, maybe not, and I, neither I have seen the movies. None of us know anything <laughs> about these movies, but we have a very, very intense, aggressive opinion about it being bad and wrong. For However, they <laughs> make me laugh. They make her laugh. Mamrie, I remember we were going to pitch meetings in LA. We were driving together to a bunch of pitch meetings, and uh-huh. I remember being in like intense traffic going to a pitch meeting and seeing just a fucking giant ass like aggressive billboard of minions and Mamrie just to herself just goes they look like sexy Twinkies and I don't like them. Sexy (laughs) Twinkies. It's true. But for some reason those motherfuckers make me laugh. So anyway I see that it's minion themed. I'm like hold on a second. What does that even mean? It means there's minions along the way. (laughs) It means minions greet you. Minions congratulate you and you get a minion medal. I literally I looked it up and I said this medal that I'm wearing right now has a minion on it and then a spinning thing that shows minions running. And I was like, Katie, how do I get into this? She goes, you have to like you. The online registration is done. You have to go to Universal Studios. I went to Universal Studios yesterday. Oh, and registered my and fucking registered. And I was like, I'll see you tomorrow. So last night I go get like a couple drinks with friends. I took it super easy, you know, for me. That's for me. That's like three drinks. I mean, you're you're on keto. So drinking is carbo loading. Well, I mean, keto isn't um, I wish I was like fully on it. It's hard but to I'm do as saying, vegetarian. Like, you're like a marathon runner. You're carbo Look, loading. I knew, yeah. I woke up early yesterday and mm-hmm. saunaed yeah. and then was like, all right, let me let me maybe I'll have a little weekend, you know, like yeah. it's all about balance. So I go and I sign up. I come home. Uh, I come home at like 10. I have to be up in six hours. I have to wake oh, up at 4 30. Katie is such a wonderful nerd that she's like, I'm going early. I'm scoping it out. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you're going early when it starts at 6 a fucking M. And I was like, no, I'm, I'll meet you at the ET parking deck. <laughs> I'll meet you at the ET parking deck. Earliest I'll get there is 5 15, which I did. But anyway, so I come home. I pop for the first time ever. I've owned it for like a year. A shot of Zequil, girl. I don't know if it was placebo or what. Oh, that works. But it works. You and I, we have the same thing where when we have to wake up early, we wake up like every thirty minutes. Yeah, we have a panic attack that we're set and, and a, like a built-in snooze button. I mean, yeah, like, you guys I heard that I, I thought it was seven p.m. last week. Yes, so. let's yeah. not forget. I slept the entire fucking night. Yeah. Sound. It was great. So I only got like four and a half, five hours, but, but I solid. but it were good. Solid. So I wake up, beans rolls over, and I was like. Can you believe this shit? <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? Like, she didn't even get out of the blanket. She was like, bitch, what? It is dark out. It's the Lord's Day. What are you I doing? I was ready. I brewed myself a cup of coffee. I, I put on my spandex. I brushed my teeth, threw my hair up, drive 15 minutes, park, meet Katie. And it's just like this whole culture of people who do 5Ks you don't know about. Now, I don't know if it was busier because it was Mother's Day and it was like an activity. But also because it's or, or universal. It's studios. universal. We get there. And, okay. I didn't realize they like time you out. So the later you get there, the later you start. Oh, so yeah. they send like, let's say, five, 400 people every five minutes. So we didn't actually start running till like 630. So oh, wow. I was there for an hour before I did anything. Jesus. But then we start going, man. <laughs> we run past two minions who are just been like cheering the whole time in Wait, their so little tiny Twinkie bodies. So that's the, the thing is that they're just interspersed throughout the course. Oh, I'll get there. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so we run past this poor man is having to like rock the mic. You know, I'm surprised he didn't do karaoke. Oh my God. We run past the minions. I'm dying because their costumes, their mouths are either like nothing or like little frowny faces. Like you can't change yeah. their and as you know, all I want to do is make like make someone smile and be like, "Oh, I'll win you over." You can't win over a minion. No, impossible. Those mouths are sewn on. Impossible. So we're running. We're like running through like the first little neighborhood. I don't even know what it is, you know, cuz yeah. I'm not up to date. We round a corner. There's despicable me. <laughs> 8 feet tall and apparently he has a twin brother with blonde hair. I just bust out laughing. I'm like, "Oh, hello, despicable me." <laughs> 
And they're cheering for us, right? Like full just costume cheering. This is literally like, do not come up to this race on any drug or any substance at all. It was you will insane. lose your fucking mind. I have to pull up my notes about it. But then we round the corner and we're in we're in uh Springfield. So we're in the Simpsons, in the Simpsons area. Okay, yeah. It was just like hold on, where is my Give us damn these. notes? I'll find it. But so there were a lot of hills like it was it was but not an easy we through, went through Hogwarts. It's through Universal Studios before the park is open before so. the park is open. But here's the thing is that they kind of. OK, they placed the minions along the way, but they were very they weren't they needed more minions. OK, <laughs> they needed more minions. We we come around. We go down. We go down this huge hill. We're like, oh, shit. It's the back lot. It's not just the park. It's like the back lot. So you're going up hills. We go down the hill and we're in Amityville. We're in the scene from Jaws. Oh, we round the corner. There's a fake lake. And every 90 seconds you're which, as you know, Oh, reminds triggers. me of having yeah. I immediately grabbed my breast and was like <laughs> oh no Joey oh no you don't I'm trying to run a 5k that's a throwback to you uh loyal listeners if you don't know that uh, listen to our Austin episode yep so <laughs> so that they have like a shark fin come out it goes back down and then you're like dah, 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 and then you hear like screams and this fake scuba diver man like emerges a little bit and then gets sucked down and then there's fake blood oh my god in front of that is a photo op with two vacation minions <laughs> <laughs> wait so you can stop along the way so to get a pictures with the minions you have to like stop and we were like oh no we're in a groove like yeah. i don't run three miles like we're doing this yeah. like we're jog speed walk jog speed walk but it's just so funny there's like a minion with a fanny pack and hawaiian shirt and a minion with like a straw like you know like hawaii hat well, this dude's getting murdered every 90 seconds by a shark behind us. All of it makes sense to me. It was so surreal. We keep going. There's a jailbreak minion by the the <laughs> ho- the motel from Psycho. I'm like, they really just put these minions in the weirdest places. We keep going, which, by the way, along the whole way, Katie keeps saying facts. And I'm like, OK, this girl has a season pass. I yeah. get it. We keep going. We get to, do you know War of the Worlds, the Tom Cruise movie? Sure. It's like Aliens Attack. It's like Dakota Fanning got her like big start in one of those. Great. So there's this area that it looks like a Boeing 747 crashed. Okay. And P.S. there's a purple minion in front of a crashed plane (laughs) taking photos with everyone. This is like the worst Easter egg shot of all time. I was dying. At this point, it's 6.45 in the morning. And I'm just like, I'm I'm losing my mind. I'm like, of course. (laughs) Of course I'll do this in front of. An actual plane crash. You know, the the shark attack, the plane crash, the motel from Psycho. Uh, how can we turn tragedy into ridiculousness? The minions. Yeah. So that's happening. And we're, we're like we're speed walking past. And Katie goes, you know, actually, this is a real 747. They fucked. They like it was cheaper for them to buy one and tear it apart. That cost 200 grand. But to actually ship it, it cost 500. And I was like, what? She was a goddamn backlot tour guide at Universal in Orlando. I was like, I just did a 5K through the backlot of Universal Studios with someone who was a backlot fucking tour guide. I was like, how do you know all this shit? And then it finally came out. Oh, Isn't my that hilarious? God. So I was basically doing this run instead of doing it on a and tram. And she's like biting her tongue like, to tell you every <laughs> single thing. <laughs> she's like, you know. So it actually got 200 grand. I was she like, she this is. triggered the whole time to be like, this is what I'm supposed to say this at this is, moment. This is the best scenario oh of my all God. time. We finally make it. You know, it's like 3.1 miles, which is nothing. But also, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm going to say 35% of it was uphill. That's nuts. It I was mean, insane. To run at that early hour, <sighs> however long you're running, to me is too much. But then much. when you get to the end and you finally get back to Universal City Walk and there's like real people. Yeah. And you see those medals in the distance that are these <laughs> yellow minion medals. It, it, like they're cheering you on. There's minions dancing on stage. And you have to remember that there's humans inside of those minion at costumes. At this point, it's 730 in the morning. My God. I'm still asleep at this point. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Any normal person would be. It's Sunday. Yeah. We get it. We get our medals and then they're like hyping it up. I get a, like a picture with the minion in the background before they like maybe keep moving. But then beside it, like the only open place is Voodoo Donuts. Oh, we've been, I mean, we've yeah. been to Voodoo in Portland. Yeah. Like insane yeah. donuts. And everyone from the run is stuffing their faces with donuts. And they're I'm like, Carbo, we just burned these cow. Like not one of the like we did not burn a bite of this donut. <laughs> I got so 
mad. I was like, you guys, we've done such good work. And now you're eating donuts at 730 in the morning. Anyway, I caught the fever. Obviously, I'm never going to be a runner. I'm a brisk walker. But I was like, this was really fun. I couldn't believe that you. D- I woke up this Wasn't morning. That insane? And I saw your photo on Instagram. And I was like telling Elliot, I was like, <laughs> so we this is the that. fucking shit that made me tell me she had to wake up early to do. Because when you were like, I have to wake up super early and do something for the podcast. I woke up at 430. I was like, where is she going? Is she gonna I still f- haven't napped. I literally would thought you were going to fly to Vegas and see a show in the morning and fly oh, back. Oh, I wouldn't keep you out of that one. Oh, I knew you'd I mean, never wake up and do this. Oh, I mean, I, w- I like to run. Like, that's the one exercise that I do do. But the, I was like, I would never have woken up post uh, Dave and Buster's night for uh, right. Universal no, Minions the, look, run. <laughs> the thing is, guys, is that now that Grace and I are doing this podcast and we like want to do things to surprise each other, we have to like weigh out. You know, what, like, well, well I want to do it? this with you, but I also want to tell you something. It's this is new- one where I was like, Grace doesn't want to wake up at 430 on a it's Sunday. A new- There's zero fucking chance. It's a new way of communicating in our friendship of like, I don't want to exclude you from the things right. I'm doing, but I also need to have experiences individually that I can bring to you and talk to you. But about. I will do a 5K with you. There's one called the Strawberry Stomp. What? And yeah. And, and there's like a beauty contest and uh, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I'm telling you, I went deep into the K-hole of like 5K. I was you like, what's know? the weirdest 5Ks? Because people were dressed up in costume. Katie was in like a SpongeBob shirt, but they were like Hermione's. They and were like full literally... universal okay. characters. And right. I'm like, uh, is this what we do now? Here's our new call to action. Okay. okay. We have one been privy and indulged in the world of like animal contests, like um, cat yeah. shows, dog shows, etc. Absolutely. Et uh, now our eyes have been opened up to the world 5Ks. that is 5Ks. It's incredible. What other subcultures that provide so many different, like, um, unique experiences right. within them that we should be looking into? Absolutely. But I still think we have a lot of 5K to dig into. <laughs> I mean, trust me, I love uh, an excuse to exercise in, you know, in for the reason of dumb yeah and then i felt like i was on top i was like is this how people feel when they decide to work out in the morning instead of dreading oh it God. all day and then maybe Look, I- forcing it in i was like it was 7 30 not that anyone should ever wake up this early but i was like i'm gonna have the most buttery fat brunch of all time who gives a shit Dude, i ran three miles this morning i was really jealous when i saw that that was what you did this oh. morning i was like Oh, she's already had a full day and I've slept until 11 to think about the fact that I played this coin machine for six hours <laughs> last night. Uh, I, but I think that that could be our new calling. Is, Absolutely. The strawberry one has a medal shaped like a strawberry. Oh, I mean, I just want you now to collect medals. Well, I, well let's be honest. Like, <laughs> for as <everyone> someone <laughs> who loves trophies and I have two wrestling belts in my bedroom right yes, now, yes, yes. this is the thing that I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Uh I like a medal. Uh Oh, I know you are literally for people that aren't watching this on our YouTube channel. Like I just won the gold. You were at the like I'm beside Dominic Mucciano in 1996. Yeah, you Devil went down to Georgia at the Atlanta Olympics. Yeah, you're doing Carrie Strong right now, and you are really fully like I've overcome all odds. Look at me, I woke up so early. It's nothing. It like people do three miles in their sleep, and I was like, this is hard as fuck. I dated someone once that rationalized. their like need to run they said i heard that george bush runs three miles every morning i can do that and i was like what a bizarre but okay way yeah. to like rationalize hold on one second needing to work out hold on i'm answering uh oh, oh. i was trying to answer chip on facetime oh chip was he was face calling me so i was gonna oh. have him call in oh oh dang like love lines so oh that george but also remember bill clinton would jog to mcdonald's i didn't know that what? Wait, you don't know that no okay Bill Clinton jogged a lot and his like milky white thighs would be all over DC. <laughs> but there's a couple times where he like jogged to McDonald's. Oh, that's like Michael Buckley. That's my favorite. Oh um, my goodness. Well, we all Gone have are our, the days. We all have our athletic icons. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll figure out a 5K to do. Guys, send us uh, via Patreon, our Patreon page. Yes. Uh, or just tweet at us. Uh, no, of- only Patreon. You only have to Patreon. Patreon. Patreon.com slash this might get weird. Okay, those are the only places that, <laughs> that's the only place that we will accept any recommendations, uh, whether it be a 5K or an event that you think is ridiculous and within the means in which we can get to. Yeah. Um, I'm so bad about it. No, you're, you will literally figure out a fucking way to get to something that you love. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. And with that said, I should call Chip back. So okay, this I got weird. I think it did. Minions and Vanilla Ice, baby, baby.